default lights. When we have no lights in the scene, we'll have two default lights. They're invisible. We don't get to see them, but it will light up our scene so we can see things. One is above and to the left of our scene, so think of it's coming over my left-hand shoulder. And the other one is below and to the right and illuminates the back side a little bit. And uh, so we can configure the, our viewport. So if I go up and I right-click on Realistic up here and go to Configure, so I'm going to configure my viewports. Over here in the Visual Style and Appearance, I have Lighting and Shadows. Typically, we have scene lights. That means it's going to use the scene lights whenever it has them. Um, if it doesn't have any scene lights, it will default over to those default lights. And so let's say we don't have enough light from the, the one light we have in it. We can go back and say, let's use default lights. We're going to use two lights. We're going to use them from the default view angles. And I'm going to say OK. And so now we're using the default lights, not this light. If I want to add those lights into the scene, um, because I know they're shining the lights good, you know, uh, I can go up to my my create, and I can go down to lights, I can go to standard lights, and I can add the default lights to the scene, but I have had to go and configure uh, that dialog box, the viewport configuration dialog box, to say default lights. Now I add the default lights to the scene, it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to add the key light? Um, and do you want to add the fill light? And these are the two names for those two lights um, that are by our default lights. Um, so uh, what we want to do is Generally, we'll say yes to those things. And I'm going to hit, and I can set my scaling how far away they are, but I'll just say for OK for now. And boom, it'll put in those lights. I'll come down here and zoom out. You can see here's my one light, and here's my other light. OK? So when I pick on this default light, it's my this is my default key light, and this is my default fill light. All right? And so they're put right into the scene already, okay? And at any time now, I can actually go back and I can right-click on Realistic here. I can go into Configure, go back to my Visual Style and Appearance. I can go back and use my scene lights if I need to. And I'll say OK. And now you can see I'm now using my scene light, my one light over here. Okay, so I'm using that light instead. And these lights are not being used anymore. But I did add those lights in. So, okay. Uh, so they're still listed in my as objects. And so default lights are there to illuminate the scene. Even though we have no lights in our scene yet, we'll use those two default lights.